The foundations for learning are established during the early years of life. An engaging and safe environment where children learn through play allows them to develop to their full potential and thrive. But not all children are exposed to these optimal environments and those who are not face difficulties when they start school. In Nepal, one in five children repeat grade one and two out of five grade two students cannot read. To tackle this learning crisis, the Ministry of Education has raised the importance of Early Childhood Care and Development or ECCD. But programs to effectively strengthen emergent literacy and math skills are insufficient. Save the Children launched a pilot project in 2015 with funding from the Banyan Tree Foundation. The project set up 20 demonstration sites in Kavri district to develop children's emergent literacy and math skills. The project aims to equip all young children with strong foundations for school by integrating this approach into the national ECCD curriculum. Sthar is five years old and lives with her uncle and aunt because her parents abandoned her. She is getting ready to attend one of the 20 pilot ECCD centers. Nearby, Ritham, who lost his house during the 2015 earthquake, attends another center supported by the project. His father is playing an alphabet game with him as he gets ready. A typical day for Hritham starts with morning circle time. The ECCD facilitator guides the children to figure out the day of the week. And sing songs together. Then the children break out into small groups where they play in learning areas carefully prepared by the facilitator. Each station allows Sthar and her friends to explore materials of their choice. The facilitator engages with the children, moving from one location to the next to deepen children's learning. The activities to foster emergent literacy skills build their vocabulary, alphabet knowledge, exposure to print, their ability to break down the sounds of words, and their love for reading. The games to build children's emergent math skills introduce them to numbers, counting, geometry, comparison, sorting, patterns, and puzzles. After learning area time, children take part in a whole group activity. Star's facilitator is teaching the children about the human body. Her role is critical to expand the children's vocabulary.
Ritham and his friends are also learning to compare items and predict whether they will float or sink during a science activity. La, fire! Of course, story time is an afternoon favorite. The facilitator asks questions about the story and builds on the children's answers to develop their comprehension. Even though 3 in 10 parents are not able to read in Nepal, the program encourages caregivers to promote emergent literacy and math skills at home. Sthar and Ritham's families are now able to extend the children's learning beyond the classroom. I was able to Balvalikako Sikai Gramati, everything Motopuna, Silgana Sakin Nesa, Banikuru, Bujikosa, two of Bavak, Sicha Karbatati, I mean, Songi Balvalika Sanga Boserati, Unirai, Sikani Gramati, Bibinati, Duma, and Bibinati Amokaika, Rutati, Mula Ruka, Reg, Topikati, Gaza, Ruka Titra, or Lazi, just like business and Gorera, Unala Oden Gorona, the Reni Sodil, Nessa Escalated, the Reni Prova Paragosa Balvalika. The children's day ends with a farewell song. Ritham and Sthar head back home with their families. When they enter primary school next year, they will have the foundations they need to succeed. <laughs>